Good morning, good evening, good night, whatever it is, wherever you are. YouTube has got a major problem. And it is a... I don't even know if I can say this combination of words without this video being demonetized, but... Fuck it! This video is going to be demonetized all to hell anyways. Why? Because I believe in free speech. Just me saying those two word combinations, free speech, is going to get this video demonetized. Every video I upload, no matter what it is, gets demonetized. There was one that I just put up uh, a couple days ago that was demonetized. It was about the uh, In Young You case, and uh, it was demonetized. I asked for a review, and someone manually went through and said, yeah, it's not suitable for all advertisers. Why, YouTube? Why? There is a problem when YouTube controls the narrative. You are not getting the full story. You are not getting the full news. You cannot take news and take freedom of speech and throw it away because then you control the thought. In order to control the thought, you must control the speech first. And if you control the speech, you control the thought. Think about it this way. If you are never, ever, ever allowed to mention the word, and this will get it demonetized, if you are never able to mention the word murder, right, and nobody is allowed to under penalties and this and that, all of a sudden that word goes away. If that word goes away, people have to think of other ways to describe it. If they have to do that, that's a lot of effort. And it makes the videos look stupid and subpar. Because you're struggling to describe something that should just be, this is the news, this is what happened. But if you are not allowed to say that word, all of a sudden it moves out of the English lexicon and people aren't talking about it. And if people aren't talking about it, nothing can be done about it because people aren't talking about it. So then we don't know where the resources are allowed to go. Imagine living in a society where, let's say, you couldn't mention the word drywall under penalties. And because you couldn't mention the word drywall when you have a hole in your drywall and you go to Home Depot and you're trying to say, hey, I, 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 I have this white thing. And you can't even say the word wall. So you have this white thing that protects me from the elements that I need to either repair or replace. Where do I get the outside protection fixing materials. Could you imagine the pain in the butt that it would be for everything like that? Well, eventually, it's going to get to the point where it's like, wow, it, uh, too much effort, too much trouble. It goes even double for things that are news, like political things and reporting on politics, reporting on what's going on in the world, because you're getting a narrative and YouTube is feeding you a narrative by severely limiting what we can talk about. And for a small, minuscule channel like mine, this is devastating. This is absolutely devastating. So I'm asking you guys to like and comment and share and subscribe and have interaction with my videos to help me beat this tyrant called YouTube. Yes, you, YouTube, are acting like a tyrant. You are trying to control speech. You are trying to stifle free speech. Speech. And for big news channels that get paid, whether they get the news right or not, they can absorb that. They can afford that. But small channels like mine that are trying to make it in a, a way that says, hey, I'm going to try to report the news from several sources in as unbiased and as honest and unapologetic a way as possible. But yet we cannot mention a certain lexicon of words. We are, in, 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 in essence, shackled. We are one-legged one people in an ass-kicking contest, and YouTube has eight legs. It's sure kicking my ass, that's for sure. For every 10 minutes of video, it's hours of battling YouTube and figuring out what in the hell and deleting a video and re-uploading the video and changing the title on a video and why did this get demonetized and what... and it works. It wears you down to the point where you say, well, it got demonetized, whatever. I'm just going to leave it. I'm not even going to ask for a review. 
and it gets harder and harder and harder. So how are we supposed to report on the hard-hitting news if we can't use freedom of speech, YouTube? Answer me that. I know. I know. I am a tiny channel that is insignificant, and I'm like a little ant screaming up at YouTube saying, Hey, I'm, I'm here, man. What are you doing? So I don't expect YouTube to hear a word that I'm saying, but I'm still going to say my word because you make it hard, and YouTube is broken that way. And everybody should be aware of it because this falls into the freedom of speech and how important freedom of speech is. And listen to dissenting opinions and things that put you out of your comfort zone. If you are always mediocre and you always place yourself up against mediocre people and you are never challenged and your belief system is never challenged and you never have anybody say that you are wrong and here's why I have the proof and you never listen to it, then you are always going to be mediocre. You are better than mediocre. You are awesome. You are wonderful. You are beautiful. You deserve better. And I'm trying to bring you better. Am I the best? No. 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 Absolutely not. I'm one voice amongst many. And my channel is small, but we're strong. That's what I got on this rant. I'm sorry for the long rant, but it's something that really should be dealt with. You can't stifle freedom of speech, people. Come on. Yes, I understand no incitement to doing dangerous things. I'm not going to say that word. There might be a chance this video is monetized, although I highly doubt it. We will see. But in general, freedom of speech, someone's political view, don't stifle it. And as far as reporting the news... Handicapping the news by stifling the speech that the news can say is controlling the narrative, YouTube. Quit controlling the narrative. I know it's hard. Power corrupts, and absolute power corrupts absolutely. And YouTube, I think you've got too much power. And I think you are trying to push too much of a one-sided narrative sometimes. And I'm a centrist. I try to get all opinions and give my view as best I can as truthfully as I can from multiple sources and multiple multiple opinions and I always encourage you guys to do that like comment subscribe and have some interaction with this video that's about the only way that I can move up on the algorithm it's a pain in the behind I love you guys I will see you on the next one I just I had to get that out I just Freedom of the press, my ass. I'll see you guys in the next one.